If you can hear me, you are watching the stream too early. We will start in about a minute and a half. Hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, if I can figure out what the hell I'm doing. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Um, I'm so freaking lost. We're gonna get a. Uh, yep, there we go. We're gonna get that effect here. I'm gonna go ahead and close off this tab, which I think just closed Firefox by mistake. But any in any case, hello and welcome to the stream. I do have my little uh, chat box going here on screen. Again, I think it's a bad idea to be uh, streaming from the machine I'm using to run Twitch. But we're going to deal. We're just going to have to deal with that. All right. I don't know what the hell's on today's list. Let's find out. Ooh. I forgot to save this, so I need to... Um, I'm going to save this to a temp file and then diff it with what, what the uh, SSH version says. So uh, we're going to go ahead and kill this. Yeah, this is, this is actually... Uh, this happens occasionally. And I try to avoid it, but it's when you um, it's when you uh, edit files in more than one location. Uh, Emacs is really, really good about that. Um, so it looks like the only difference is that the more the more recent version, the version that's on um, in BC Git, is the more current version, and it, there's nothing bad except for this little 10.11 change, which is which is fine. So let's go ahead and get that up and running. All right, and man, I'm just, I'm going to figure out a way to get all this crap to work together. Um, well, I'm, I probably won't, but I, I should. Okay, uh, and this is actually no longer accurate. I'll put that in there. Okay, uh, we were working on a, a proof of concept of a simple waypoints application uh, that was based on a stack question. Uh, we will go ahead and try to finish that up, post it to Google Pages, and then write uh, something in Stack Exchange that says, uh, "Here's a you know single one-page uh, blah blah duty that does what you want, um, and all the files are right there for you, so you can just hack it, change it in any language, whatevs." Okay, then um, I'm still obsessed with the closed form formula for uh, two of the problems. One is uh, you know how do you find find the point that's a given distance along the root of a great circle. And the second point is where do you find, how do you find where you're closest uh, to a point C that is not on the great circle when you are on that great circle, or at least the portion of that great circle that is between two other points A and B. Um, hello, and thank you for hosting Mr. Van de Sam, 14, now hosting. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got, okay, hello, Fierce Crocodile. Good to see you. Good to see you, Mr. Van de Sam. Van Dam. It's not, you're not Van Dam, you're Van Desm 14. Good to see you guys both. If you have any comments, questions, uh, you know, want some tea or something, just let me know. I can't get you tea, but uh, just you can let me know. Okay, uh, and then we'll look for a closed formula that this time we're going to let other people do the work. I'm going to post uh, the work I've done and then let them uh, solve it. Um, oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. So kind. And I don't know why I'm repeating chat because now it's actually, chat is actually on stream. Okay, 
And then um, there was a, um, a library that would let you draw buffers and Vernoy diagrams and on Leaflet. I hope I have it written down somewhere. Uh, because someone said doing it yourself is, is kind of a waste of time, which probably is true, by the way. Um, it's, it's more fun, but, and it's cheating to use somebody else's code, but in this case, we might, we might want to just go ahead and do it, because we're doing a lot of other stuff on, stuffs, stuffs. We're doing a lot of other stuff on our map project, so maybe having a little bit of help, and, you know, generally, um, generally supporting the, the case, the cause of uh, code reuse we might do that. Uh, if we get um, you know, through that, or if I just get bored with that, there's some other stuff we might do, which is in this file that you can read. So now I think I've broken Firefox. I didn't actually break it. I just shut down the last tab. Let's make sure it's not running somewhere. Ooh, it is running. Okay, hang on. Um, there it is. Oh, wow. Yes, it's running for this. Oh, that's not very good. How do I uh, create a new tab here? A new tab? Yeah, you got it, baby. Um, and I'm going to quickly check to see if I can switch between windows using alt tab. I cannot control tab. I cannot. Unfortunately, because I'm using a shift tab. No, that doesn't quite do what I want. Tab, that does, okay. Unfortunately, because I'm using a VM inside another, uh, inside another machine, not all of the, uh, the switching windows stuff is available to me. Um, I might be able to create, um, in FVWM2, they might be able to create like a widget for this. Um, these are all window ops you can do really quickly. Oh. Uh, window ops, config ops. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think any of this stuff is going to work for me here. Um, modules, control, oh, shiny. Button bar. So that might be kind of cool. Wow, that just did a bunch of stuff. But maybe it's... Well, okay, hang on. Whoa. Okay, did it actually create a button bar? I mean, if it... Oh, here we are. Now, of course, the question is, why the hell don't these two windows show up in the window list? Okay. Whoa, what the hell have I done here? I've done very bad things. Uh, I've created this button bar here that apparently I can't do anything with. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Here's the button bar. Um, wee! This is not at all what I wanted. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think this is not at all what I wanted. Is there a way to close Mr. Button? Let's see if we can make it like... Yeah. And you might be saying, you know, hey, shouldn't we be getting back to the business of or whatever the hell is we're supposed to do, and the answer is no, we should not. Okay, let me go ahead and kill that window. Um, I'm hoping to find a widget that lets me just sort of switch between windows a lot easier than what I'm doing now, which is basically hovering over them because I have a uh, sloppy, f I have um, auto raise set with a short delay. Okay, so what I want to do here is control animation, icon box forms, identify. Interesting. Icon man, icon, icon, icon man, banner, console, pager. Now with the pager, uh, I might be able to do some cool stuff um, because everything would be, it's, it's sort of like uh, having multiple pages, but instead of like scrolling off and on screen, let's see what we do here with pager. Do I actually, I don't have more than one page right now, so that's not gonna be very exciting. Um, but it might be a useful thing to like stick, whoa, whoa, what happened to my X clock? God damn it. All right, so uh, I'll look into that and I will make a note here. Um, look into multi-page FVWM to on La Paz, that's the name of this machine, and use pager. So that, that may be a way I can switch between pages without having the so sort of side scroll that FVWM normally has. Okay, so now I'm annoyed because my X clock apparently has gone away. Um, pager, backer, I don't even want, oh, shininess. I don't really want that, but, you know, it is shiny. I wonder if I can turn that off, or that's just like a... 
Okay, apparently I've now set the background to this. We... And maybe the idea was there's supposed to be like options there that you can change it to different things. Um, I, I guess this color is okay. Taskbar, yeah, maybe that's helpful. If it actually shows up anywhere. Oh, shiny, is this a taskbar? <gasps> oh no! I'm using Windows! And I think I can make it stay up all the time, and this actually might be useful, sadly. Um, because this is going to be a lot quicker. Let's see if I can make the... Uh, configure the taskbar. God, this is this is too close to Windows. It, it worries me. Okay, okay, and how do I configure the freaking taskbar? Oh, come on, really? Okay, I think... Right now it's auto raise when I get close to it. Let me see what I can do. Oh, shininess. That is pretty damn cool. Got to admit. I mean, it sucks. Windows sucks, of course, but having this little start bar is kind of nice. Um, having just really the window stuff is the stuff that's important. Okay, but having it keep going down is not cool. So maybe you could stick you up here. Oh, you're not going to even stick around, are you? Well, then you're of no use to me. You must die. Okay. Uh, so far, I'm not batting 100% here with uh, with FVWM's cool modules to deal with when you're on a small screen and have multiple windows, although that's probably not a big use case for them. Uh, everyone seems to assume you have really big screens nowadays, and it kind of annoys me. Uh, before I forget, let me go ahead and re-zoom. Uh, um, X clock. And let me go ahead and do it with um, Xinit RC. I don't have an Xinit RC. That's not cool. Because I think the clock's always been there so for for so long that um, I've forgotten how to bring it up. All right, let's see if we can find out from X term. There's Mr. X term. Stop hiding, Mr. X term. Yeah, this is this. At some point, this is going to become an issue here. Um, let's see if I have it in my history. If not, I'll just have to redo the command. Nope, not X clock. X clock. Nope, okay. X clock minus digital minus update. Let me grep X clock to see if I've got it. I don't think I do, actually, to be honest. I don't think I have a... Um, oh, add UTC string to... Um, that might be a bad idea. That might be a good idea, actually. Minus digital, minus update one. Let's see how far that gets us. Shiny. Um, and this time, maybe I'll actually write it down somewhere. Um, and, I mean, I could put it in an exonit rec file to fix X clock. I'm not quite happy with this yet, because I would like the, the phrase UTC to appear so people don't get confused. By people, I mean me. Okay. So let's see what Xbox has for options. Format string options. Analog, digital, brief, blah, 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 blah. Strip time, form. There we go. There we go. Minus strip time. And I'm going to do a PKL X clock because we don't want like a hundred of them floating around. Minus strip time. Ooh. This could be quite shiny. We could do star date stuff. Um, let's see what that does. Well, that's pretty cool. And I think people will understand what it means. I don't know if I should put star date in front of it, but that might be too geeky. Mm, I like it. I think we'll keep it. All right. So let's make a note of this so we can do it again if we have to. Okay. All right. Now we've wasted a little bit of that time. Let's go back to um, let's go back to what the hell we were trying to do earlier. Yeah, we're, let's find Replit and actually do what we we're going to do earlier. Let me make this window. I guess I'm going to have to make all my windows a little less wide until I figure out the. Uh, the magic way of making uh, the chat thing do something I want. 
That's not too bad. I can now see chat at least. So let's go to Replit. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Why does it not recognize me? Stand by while I figure out what the hell my password used to be. Still is, actually. Ah. Okay. Now, we're not going to do a show password. Although it's not really that dangerous. There's not too much you can get into from here. And my username is just replit at barrycarter.info. I think. I'll be really embarrassed if that's not the case. Yes, yeah, save it. Um, my repls. Twitch waypoints. And... But if you're asking why I don't have a wider resolution, I can't figure out a way to do this uh, on on the VM that I'm using. And I've tried a few things, so I mean, it's not like it's not like you know I just tried a couple of things. Password is one two three four confirmed. Yep, there you go. It's all my passwords. Um, okay, so uh, we were actually pretty close to this yesterday, kind of. We had this going. And I think from now on, we're going to actually just bring it up in a uh, new window. And we're going to keep that window going because we are pretty tight on space here. So I think this guy just goes away. And now here, we can just reload every time we want to see what's going on. Okay. So we have all this. And I think right now, if you put stuff in here and hit compute, uh, unfortunately, we need to do this now. Um, we do have it showing up. Unreachable code. Yeah, go F yourself. Okay. Now we, of course, want to use this these values that we've picked up here in script.js to do something with them, not just put them into an object. Um, so let's see. Object. T -t 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 okay, so this puts everything into an object. Um, so now we're going to call the, the function, obviously, that, that's going to give us the waypoints first. Then we're going to call the function or whatever it is we're doing... Um, to find what's closest to those waypoints. And again, we're intentionally going to be doing a not perfect job. This is a proof of concept, or more importantly, I'm just bored with it. And But I still want to answer the question in sort of a half-hearted, half-assed, uh, fuck you kind of way. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this looks like it's actually pretty much what we want to do here. Um, we want the waypoints. Now, the interesting question here will be what, whether or not JavaScript will let us com com um, Why am I tying? Oh, because these are in radians. So these are not in radians. These are in degrees. So that's... Uh, right, so I do need to multiply them by VC of degree. Um, now, the question here will be if I can just pass these in. They're strings. They're not numbers. But it might be that JavaScript is nice enough to just sort of say, yeah, I know what you mean. And I probably mean that. So this will be the uh, long one, I think, is what we called it. And there's sort of a temptation to see if you could... Um, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wow, because our object, our waypoints is expecting the same kind of thing that we pulled out of here. Um, we might be able to pass this mother just the way it is. Okay. Now, if this works, I'd be very surprised. Um, but it might. This is this is actually really nice because if you use the same if you if you're consistent with your oh, I don't want to I want to res um, okay and so now we have to go over here go over here reload um, five waypoints minus one oh six thirty five uh, minus one twenty thirty nine I think that should be good for oh my god. Object array. Waypoints is an array. Um, and 
This would be a lot cooler if these were in degrees, but I think this is actually correct. Okay. Oh, and I think actually I, the, the array function just returns them as an array, which is kind of what I wanted. Um, if there is a... Nope, not what I wanted. Waypoints, six. So there is an object return, but there should also... There it is, the array return, which is the one we're going to actually use. Um, and, I mean, these are essentially the number one, and we don't care about them. Um... So now what we want to do is we want to take these and convert them to degrees because we are going to be using, uh, I think we're going to be using degrees in just a minute here, or we, we could pull the data and convert that into degrees. We have to convert them both into, or into radians rather. Um, so that's a pretty good start here. Um, and then what do we do next? So I think we got that part of it, then we got... Um, I guess we actually do look at the, um, uh, we do look at the, uh, radian, uh, the radian latitude. So this is now the code, this is pretty much, like, exactly the code we need now. I mean, we might have to tweak it in terms of variable names and stuff, but, uh, and, Let's cut and paste. Of course, once we're done, we'll kill off the commented code. But I think we're, we're in business here. Okay, so that keys equals object keys FA. And this is coming in from somewhere else. This is not the data we just got. For each one, we go through it, compute the distance. If it is the minimal distance, and then we find the minimal distance, we're still within the, um, the N waypoint loop here. Uh, which I guess is just N, if we wanted to do it that way. I mean, but or n plus, no, it's n. But we'll just do it this way, it's fine. Okay, and then this should tell us the uh, the facility names. Let's see if we can uh, we can crock that. Okay, nicely it did not reset my, um, reset my variables there. Oh, syntax error function body. Okay, what the freak? I didn't declare any new functions right now. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Semicolon, semicolon. How did I miss those? I mean, that was working code at one point. All right, one more time. Line 26, column 23. Okay. Oh! Yes, I probably need to get out of update event. What does this end me out of? Something? Um, I get the feeling I'm in one level too deep, but let's see what happens. Um, reload, compute. Well, it didn't give me an error message, that's good. Didn't mean your results either, but I mean, you know, you can't be picky. That's not freaking bad. That's not freaking bad at all. Okay. So now, of course, um, well, we still need to clean this up a little bit, but we're, like, right at the verge of getting this done. So let's go ahead and get rid of this uh, commented code from earlier, because we pretty much copied it now. So we're looking at a 62-ish line solution. Um, fewer if we wanted. Oh, actually, we don't need this anymore, either. Because all of this was, uh, you know. The more I think about it, we probably could have, in the document, just given them hash-like names, and that would have made things even easier. But this is pretty good. This is pretty good. We get the documents by the ID. Uh, we convert them. Put some map equals. Right, right. We get them by ID. Um... We have somehow placed listeners on them, have we? Uh-oh, have we? I mean, well, oh, right, we placed it on the button. So, gorgeous there. Okay, 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 so we're, we're pretty much there, except we're not, we're not printing out the right stuff yet. But the bigger problem is right now we're saying console log, and that means just print it to, uh, well, you know, the console. Um, 
So what I'd like to do now is I'm going to build up a little table. It's going to be very ugly, but it will be um, it will ultimately be the thing that we're going to use uh, to to stick into the HTML code. So what we're going to do is we're going to declare a string called str. This is going to hold the table. Actually, we can have it do this. Um, and then as we go through this, uh, let's see, I'll be a little bit careful here. As we go through the waypoints, we're essentially going to wrap this into a uh, TR. Uh, but let's be a little bit more careful. And we're going to leave this as is. So we're going to say str plus equal. And I guess I'm going to want new lines in this table. That's just for readability. Uh, HTML doesn't really care. Okay. And then I guess we're going to um, use the interpolation. New, no, new row. Uh, new cell. We're probably not going to keep i as our variable. i just tells you which index it is in the uh, in the in the file uh, called uh, stations dot whatever. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry. N t n table cell uh, closest, uh, which is the um, oh actually what the hell what the hell is i? Oh, i is the number of the waypoint. We actually do need to keep that. The closest, the um. And then I guess oh the di that that is the actual distance then, which I think is in miles. But we'll figure that out in just a sec. Um, and again, this will not be the final version here. And then something so nasty, I'm just going to copy it. The facility name, which f to get that you have to go into the uh, array and find it, and then find it from there. And then just pretend I'm making sense. I'm not even sure this is the correct um, protocol for this, but I think we're good. Okay. So now, at the end of this function, let's see what. It right. So just before we end the function, we're still going to do a console log, but we're very close to actually putting this into the freaking document the way we want it. But I want to make sure this is looking okay first. Okay. Reload. Missing thingamabob in template string. Okay. Um, yep. That's what I meant to do. All right. One more time. Okay. Oh, and we do need to add an end table statement here somewhere. And an end. Oh, and an end row would be nice too, huh? Okay, and so we'll want an end row here, and we'll go ahead and put a new line in there just to be nice. And then finally, just before we print it, we'll say stir plus equals end of table, new line. Okay, so now I, I'm probably being overly hesitant now. Okay, so now. Um, um, now I think we can add it to, we're, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna make it look much nicer, but let's go ahead and add it to inner H, let's go ahead and create a little div tag where you can put this sucker. Um, I will go ahead and put it below for right now. div id equals results and slash div and now if I remember my JavaScript correctly which I do not um, we might as well call this um, we don't because we we, might, oh, we we actually can just get it in the you know when right at the start um, Okay, so now all we have to do here is if we've done this freaking correctly, we can say, I would bet money this is going to fail. But it would be inputs of um, results uh, dot inner HTML equal stir. 
And if that works, I will be effing surprised. Else x is null. Okay. Uh, wait. Else x is null. Script 2121. Okay. So probably not, not a great thing there. Um, I know we do need this. Um, so the value is null. I mean, it's the empty string. Should I? I feel really bad doing this, but, um, if I put a space in here, will that make it happy? Oops. Undo. I'm used to Emacs where... Okay, or am I just doing something more fundamentally wrong? Let's find out. I mean, that shouldn't bother it that the uh, result is empty. I mean, you can have an empty div tag. Compute! Else x is null. Okay, 2119. Uh, what? 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 No. That can't be right. Oh, script. Right. Okay, does the div tag not have... Oh, you know what? The div tag may not have a value. So we actually have to treat it separately. Div tag equal... Because I know it has an inner HTML tag, but it may feel that it doesn't necessarily have a... Um, um, uh, a value field, although it probably should. And what we want to do is get... Um, results. Okay. And it occurred to me I could probably combine these three lines of code, but I'm not going to. Um, okay. Reload. Compute. Inputs, results, is, oh, wait, oh yeah, it is, sorry. We're just going to call it div tag now, not results. Okay. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? That's the uh, the night shift song by uh, somebody. Um, Marvin Gaye, I think. No, it's about Marvin Gaye. Wow. That is pretty fucking bitching. I mean, it looks horrible. I t I'll give you that. Um... But it looks like it's kind of giving us the answer that, except for this crap, which I have no idea where the hell that comes from, but it looks like it's giving us what we want. Although in some cases it is repeating, which we, we, we know that. Um, we should start writing up what's wrong with this when we, for when we write up the answer. So, um, notes for answer. Proof of concept only. FAA is on in in USA only. Need others? Question mark. Meaning, do we need other um, facilities outside the USA that we um, uh, repeats um, facility names? Um, and we're really, really trying to downplay this because it's not a very good app. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, all code available, open source. You can uh, you can port or use a single page app if you DL everything, um, meaning no internet connection required. Okay, so that's some of the notes I want to make when we actually uh, post this damn thing. Okay, so now what do we actually want to print? For one thing, I'm pretty sure I want to use table border. Uh, I'm just real fan, and we need table headers, of course. Um, and I'm not sure giving, see, I don't think any of these, um, I don't think these numbers appear anywhere in the actual file, so it'd be kind of not a good idea to give them, because it's confusing. Um, 
But let me take a quick look here, because I do have them in somewhere. Nowhere. I do have them. Actually, I can bring them up here. Uh, it's NCDF. It's this sucker. Now, yes. Awesome. Uh, fit two. Fit u. Hang on, what is this one? Fiti Uta. That's a pretty silly name. Fiti Uta. There's more than one Fiti Uta. Okay. Yeah, and so I don't think anywhere is the number 11097 going to appear here. Uh, it does appear elsewhere, but that, that's a completely different thing. Right, so this is not the correct number to give. This What we should be giving here is actually the... Uh, the station ID. So let's go ahead and do that. Now let's go ahead and add our header before I forget. Uh, now n notice that every time we uh, we run this, it re replaces th what's in the div, which is fine, but it doesn't need to reload the page, which is perhaps the only good thing about JavaScript. So table border, and then I'll go ahead and do, um, well, fudge it, I'm just going to do this. Uh, JavaScript must have here documentation, but anyway, table row, table header, um, uh, number, and because the numbers are pretty small, I'm going to only put the word number there, I'm not going to spell out the word number, and then the next one is going to be, we're not doing it yet, but it's going to be facility ID, and I think we'll just say ID, even though that should be big enough to, um, um, that should be big enough to hold um any of any of the facility IDs. We we could have made it longer. Um then what else did I think was interesting? Um another version I pulled out, stations.js, which may or may not be in BC Git. Is it? Did I just make it temporarily? Oh wow, I'm smart. Um yes we do want to reread it. Okay. So the facility ID we do definitely need to put in the latitude and longitude. Um, and I guess the facility name is a good thing to have. I don't know if I want to put in the ICAO identifier, which is the METAR identifier. So we will definitely have that. We will definitely have name, uh, longitude, and latitude, but I don't think we're going to bother with the um, NOTAM facility ID. Anything that can be blank, I would like to avoid putting in here. So. Um, name. We're going to be continuing to use our for short format here. Name, and then what else we're we using? Um, long longitude. And I think this will be long enough that we don't need to abbreviate longitude. And of course, Mr. Latitude. And because I'm feeling stupid, we're going to do something a little bit clever. We're going to try to put the longitude and latitude in degrees, minutes, seconds format even though that's less useful than uh, the uh, decimal format. Uh, so we're doing something to F with, F with stuff. So let's see what this happens. Let's see what this happens. Let's see what this does. Okay. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, by the way, there's a portion of the browser that's below the... Uh, there. That was below the uh, window, so you couldn't see it. Um, below the v yeah, Below the page. Okay, so ID is not the currently the ID, and longitude and latitude are not being filled in correctly, which is fine because we're going to fix that. So now, over here, uh, I said we were going to get rid of this, didn't I? And we did, and I came back somehow. So not facility name, but okay, crap, facility ID. Okay, I really need to look at this on a different page which I cannot do. Well, I mean, I can. Um, but I want to look at it. Oh, there we go. This, oh, it's actually the key. Sorry, it's not even... It's the actual key. Boy, something's hap unhappy with me. Okay, so it's the actual key. So that's actually sort of easier. Um, FA keys closest. Um... Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and see what we've used for. I think we said just said keys, right? We just used keys as our uh, 
our key object. That was redundant. Um, yeah, we did. So this is just going to be actually keys um, closest. And don't worry, I'm going to check that, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. Oh, and I guess one other thing we want to keep track of is how far you are. Uh, you know, we've, we found you the closest point, but how far are you from that? So let's go ahead and add... Um, Let's add some distant stuff going in here. Okay. Okay. And let me go ahead and make a download of this real quick because I know we're... Um, I keep forgetting to do that and it is... What? You should already know how to do that. Okay, I don't know why this thing has reverted to its older behavior. Uh, but anyway, we'll go ahead and and you will not get a better explanation from me than I give to myself. Okay. Um, all right. So we've got that. Go no, actually, I, I do want that out with the list of files. Okay. All righty. So then we want the um, keys closest. When the min is the G, we actually do have that. So let's see, we're doing um, facility name, ID name. Oh, shoot, did I just get rid of something I wanted? Yes, I did. Um, we still want the facility name. Um, we, in addition to the facility ID. So let's go ahead and get that. Okay, and I th think I should have brackets around that, braces rather, okay, and then what else did we want? We wanted the um, longitude, latitude, and distance, okay, and this is going to get a little bit ugly. Um, it's, it's not really ugly, it's just ugly because we... I'm going to try to do it without doing anything else to it. I'm so evil. It's going to be this. And I'm desperately going to need some new lines here. And then it's going to be... I'm not going to use them, I just said I'm going to need them. Um, and the dist And this is not going to be the final format we're going to be putting them in, because it's going to be very... Nope. Control C, Control V, Sucker, TD, Oop, hey, hey, hey. end this cell. What the hell? End this cell, new cell, and the distance is just GCD. Okay. So now if this works, we will have a full table at least. It won't be, it'll be very ugly, but it will be complete. Sorry about that, just adjusting the mic so you could all hear me because my voice is wonderful. All right, let's do this again. Reload, compute, and fail. All right, good stuff. Okay, control shift K should have, there we go. Reference error, J is not defined. Well, that is a, that is a, uh, that is correct. I mean, of course, closest because that's what we've assigned here. Um, all righty, one more time. GCD is not defined. Well, wait a minute. Well, X, yeah, because we're calling it min. GCD is within the for loop. I'm a freaking moron. And I'm pretty sure we're doing distance in miles, but I will check that in just a sec. Okay. So here we have something that is broken because I have a missing... We need to figure out what the hell this is. I have a, I have a screwed up... Um, I wonder... Uh, I was thinking about just putting this whole thing um, in, in multiple lines or something, 
But we're actually gonna we're gonna actually f with it some more. So I'm not quite ready to do that. So where's the our little problem here? Um, after the name. I don't know if this is replit being this way or just I just have something messed up. In either case, no tada because it didn't work for some reason. Um, oh right, because I don't want to actually be printing this at all, uh, even though I am right now. So this is um, wait. Shouldn't I have started a new TD there? Okay, so also wrong for that other reason. We do not need the closest. Because that's just some number I made up. It does nothing to do with the silica ID. All right. I hate my freaking life. Okay, let's try this again. All right, this time I am going to go ahead and do it like this. TD, TD. TD. Why is there a double TD here? I don't know. Min T's closest. Don't bother to close that one. Uh, TDF closest facility name. Closest longitude NTD. Closest latitude NTD. Closest da 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 and TR. Okay. That did make a mi minor change, so let's take a look here. That looks really nice. Just one second, guys. I'm checking my email. No, you can't see it. Uh, yes, wonderful or bad things have happened. Good deal. Ooh, how to make $950 online. Well, I've got to go do that. Right. Um, so something is still off by a little bit. I think I'm printing distance twice. I am printing the idea, and I'm printing the... Okay, well, why did this come up in a new page? I didn't want that. That was kind of weird. Um, anyway. I'm in his closest longitude facility. Name. Oh yeah, I am putting it in twice. Okay. Um. I'm going to see if I can guess what the freaking, um, Actually, I'm not. History, which I don't have. Mofo. Mofo, mofo, mofo. All right, we'll bring it out from here. It's supposed to bring up a new tab, which is what it did. All right. Number of waypoints will make it 10. Longitude. I don't know, 90 in the middle of the U.S., latitude, 40 middle of the U.S., destination longitude will be, oh, actually, ooh, 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 minus 90. <laughs> Florida, I guess, minus 75, 25, I don't know. Although this might actually tell us some stuff. Um, okay, this is strange. Why are we going... First of all, I love the name Pagan Airstrip. I mean, that is just awesome. That's an FAA name. But why are we going there? We should not... Have I flipped it again? No, in fact, even the... Um, the latitude and the longitude of the initial and last points aren't any good either. So I've either effed something up um, really badly... Um... Yeah, this is weird. This is unexpected behavior. Let me go back to the ones that were working. Which I sadly do remember because I have a freaking eidetic freaking memory. Oh wow, those weren't really working either, were they? Um... Something got bonked here. Um, as Miss Clavel would say, something is not right. 
something is quite wrong. But she would be singing it because she's a freaking nun. I... This was working! Unless... Unless, unless, unless... I accidentally forgot the minus sign there too. And... Yeah. That's very disappointing. Okay, we broke it. And by we, I mean you. I'm blaming you. So are the waypoints not correct, or are the, um... Or am I just not printing them out correctly, which is, which is a much... Much, um, less interesting pro- which is a much better problem to have. Um... Let's see, string blah, 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 blah. We get the distance, we get the min. We Alright, so there's a possibility that I'm printing out the waypoints incorrectly. Um Oh and I am I am actually console logging that, so let's take a look. And I need to stop console logging table because it's no longer interesting to us. Waypoints eleven. And again, remember we are in going to be in radians here. Um, and maybe I've double converted or something stupid. Uh, let's see, 0.68, 0, okay. Latitude. Okay. So I guess we need to look at these in, either look at these in, um, in degrees, or look at the well. We we'll go ahead and look at this in degrees because we do want our final result to be in degrees, not not radians. Okay. Um, well, I guess. Let's see. I mean, in theory, we could take every element of res. and map a function to it that takes the array name and returns okay the list x1 nope x0 because each element is a list over bc lib degree and then x1 over bc lib degree um, I'm beginning to see why, why program is, this is just so hideously ugly, I just love it. Um, and I guess we need to assign that to PRS, meaning print res. This won't work. If this works, I'll be very surprised. In fact, let me just run it here to get a, um, very quick fail. Except, I apparently now I have to press the, uh, button for it to do anything. So let's do this, let's do that. ResMap is not a function. Well, you know, wait. Res? Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. I actually want res to be this. Not the whole return value, but the array return value, which might have been causing the whole problem. I like to pretend that uh, that could happen. Oh, and I do need to reload this because uh, the JavaScript doesn't change anything. Res R is undefined. Well, that's that's good. Um, oh, because now, because <laughs> now I have to use it. Um, you know what? Let's actually let it be like this, and then over here we'll just say res R. We're going to map on the array. We can't map onto a, a, a complex object. We can, but let's not. Okay. I need to stop freaking uh, string printing the, um... Okay, good. These all look... Okay, so these all look good, actually. The the 76, the 72. The waypoints are good. They're not printing correctly, but that is a minor freaking issue. But it does look like we're going from 76... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. 105... to 120... 
Um, minus, what the hell? Um, no, it does not look like, so we have two problems now. Um, one is it looks like the waypoints aren't printing correctly. And this actually might be correct because we're just looking for the closest to the waypoints. So let's go ahead and do this with a little bit more of a USA kick here. It or or not? Come on! Oh, am I ju why is I not getting any more printing here? All right, let me clear this. Because Jesus Christ! Um. Oh, because it's all going to the end now. Let's go ahead and trash this first. Trasherama, computerama. I'm going to fix that. It's getting too annoying now. I'm not going to console log the table anymore. Well, because it's printing okay, so we don't need to console log it. Alrighty, let's try that one more time. Oh, we do need to reload now. Compute. Okay. Looks totally wrong there. Let's see what our array has. Yeah, not looking too good. And I just said, ah, that's not looking too good. And I think I know what's wrong. In fact, I'm almost sure I know what's wrong. Um, over here, I got really clever, and I took the object from the um, values people are putting in. Um, put map. Yeah. But unfortunately, the object data is in... Um, is in uh, degrees, not radians. So that is that is not cool. So, the best way to cheat on something like this, um, the only the problem here, by the way, is um, the number n you cannot divide by degrees because that is that is not um, that is not uh, in uh, that is not that is not in radians. That's a that's a whole number. It's not in degrees. I mean. It's it's a whole number. So, what do we do? There's lots of ways to fix this. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So this is actually we sh we should really be constructing an object here. Um, it's so tempting to be. Yeah, it's so tempting. The other way to do this would be um, would be to change the uh, waypoints function to allow uh, to allow degrees, and that's the harder way. That's the uglier way. So of course, that's the way we're going to do it. All right. Uh, no, d d d d where's my waypoints function? There we are. Waypoints! Um, I'm going to be a little bit careful here. Um, units. Um, or radians. So that's, um, I'm going to make that unit, even though we're, we're using multiple values, it could be fine. Now this is working really ugly. It's quite possible that if I do this and I don't send a unit, it's going to complain. Um, but hopefully not. That's, that's the hope. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. And I think we can even say here, if unit, and I guess you need to use the triple equal for some reason. Uh, equals uh, degrees because its default is going to be then we're going to multiply all of these suckers by uh, BC lib degree um, okay and because they're no longer in the frickin object I cannot do a loop that's not good that's actually sort of ugly okay but anyway one one times equals bc lib dot degree. 
Not happy with this. It doesn't really matter what order I do these in. Okay. But now we also have to return it in degree. So let's go over here. Waypoint push. Um, um, Wow. Okay, this might be a little bit ugly. Uh, spherical. Da -da 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 -da. So we're pushing this, and we're pushing that. Okay, hang on. Yeah. So the problem here is going to be that um, SPT is going to return a three-element array. Um, this is going to return a three-element array. Um, yeah, actually, I think we can fix this. Um, okay, the, the, again, the sort of problem here is uh, SPT XYZ to spherical returns a radius coordinate. The radius coordinate we don't want to change. Um, so we have to do this. SPT map takes x, whatever the hell x is here, to a function. The function returns an array that takes um, the zeroth point, divides it by bc lib degree. The first point divides it by bc lib degree and does nothing at all with the second point, uh, the third point. Okay? And I, I'm pretty sure I could reassign this to SPT, but um, I'm not going to do that right now, because I've got enough stuff going on here that looks pretty ugly. Alright, so watch this totally break everything. It'll even pull out this console, because um, we, we kind of want to see what's going to go what's, what's, We're going to see something break here. Oh wow! Again, because I have to do it with the um, button. Never mind. Stand by. Yeah, I guess we should really stick to this. Reload. Okay. Coordinates must only contain numbers. Um. Ooh, ooh! Many, many bad things have happened here. Um. All right, so I think may the thing I was worried about is that if you don't fill in um, unit, um, oh, crap, this should actually be if unit equal, equal, equal. But let's worry about that in just a second here. Yeah, degrees. Do that. And then the, this also... Um, and here I'm going to go ahead and overwrite it because I think um, I'm going to play it spiffy here and just re overwrite something, relying on the concept of what's called left-hand evaluation. Um, LHS, meaning that the right-hand side will be evaluated first and then assigned to the left-hand side. We will not have it trying to reassign stuff while it's... Uh, while it is uh, computing, so this this should not break anything. I mean, it'll it won't work, but it won't work for the same reason it didn't work before. Oh crap! It worked. Okay, hang on. And I know I haven't put in unit equals. Uh, okay, so I guess now that we're going to send the units in degrees, we need to do this somehow. We need to. Um, okay, get almost. By, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm trying to find out what we have. The um, all right, this will be inside the update. So we um, we get the waypoints. Okay, so we get the object, and the only thing else we need to do with the object is say degrees. And I guess I should use the JavaScript to use single. Now, 
This will feel, I'm curious to see who the hell is still sticking around in chat. And it is, I guess I shouldn't be showing you this, but we have some people. Hello people still in chat. I really need to be more careful. Um, okay, so let's reload. Compute. Lat is not defined. In 656, okay. Pretty sure, oh, 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 I know it's wrong. Um, DC upstaging, 656. Um, it should be lat 1 or lat 2 for sure. Yep. Lat 2. Coordinates must contain only numbers. Well, okay, let's see what this array looks like. That's really bad. Um, and that's a turf.js complaint. Um, and I guess we should stop printing out alpha because it's pretty stupid now. Yeah, we, we're, we're now pretty confident we're doing that correctly. Okay. So, what's going on here? I guess we need to make sure that our... Um, I guess we should check here to see what the hell spot SPT is equal to. Um, and let me be really spiffy here and do this, although I think this might be a bad idea. And at some point I might want to remove the, uh, the button requirement if we're going to debug this, because it might be really ugly. Okay, well that's not what we want at all. Na 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 Hey, this doesn't work. Erk. That was a little bananarama there. Um, okay. So. Okay. Well, let's see if it works without degrees. Um, we have added a function to it that maybe we didn't want to add. Um... I realize we're now sending in the wrong values and stuff, but but this is just to debug this one error to see why it's unhappy. Okay, so it is it is because of degrees that something bad happens. Um, and that this this array is meaningless right now. You know it's bad. Okay, so what am I doing here that makes things so unhappy? Uh, actually, what am I doing here that makes things so unhappy? I mean, the obvious, um, the obvious issue is I'm trying to take SPT and, and return to SPD. Uh, re I'm trying to remap it to itself. The other problem might be that I'm doing a return without a parentheses. Um, the other problem is I'm using JavaScript. Let me see if I can make this a little bit happier by returning a parentheses. Um, uh, and actually console logging the value of x while we're inside that uh, conversion because maybe I, the elements of x are each oh no 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 no, 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 no. The elements of X are each numbers. Uh, yeah, this is what's wrong. Um, so actually, we don't even need this. Because this is too simple for that. The units are equal to degrees. Uh, da 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 da. SPT is the three dimensional. Yeah, okay. So then we'll just want to say. So we're just going to change the first two coordinates if that if that is in degrees. The radius, of course, does not get changed because it is in pure units. So now we can go back to here and say, uh, where the hell am I? Right, here we go. Um, and set the object to degrees, and that is hopefully going to work. Okay. The waypoints. Oh, hang on. There's more of them than I can see. Well, the waypoints are at least now correct. They're going minus 105, 35, and the radius is one which we don't really care about. 
And the final, okay, the final waypoint went a little bit too far. Um, so not ideal there. Um, should have stopped there, dude. What the freak? Uh, why are we getting two extra waypoints out of this sucker? Um, but it, it I mean, we're, we're clearly in much better shape than we were before. Um, except, you know, it's being over eager here, but I don't know why. Okay. So now the printing here, we have to be a little bit careful with, um, Hmm. Um. Okay. Oh crap! Because now we're returning stuff in degrees too. I think. Yeah, this was a bad idea. Um. So I, I'm going to bet anything that our longitude and latitude here are. Uh, well, yeah, they are because we we set to return them that way. So that was a brilliant idea there. Um, so that probably didn't help us a lot. So actually, let's go ahead and go back to radians. Um, oh, hang on. Um, oh, awesome. We just convert back and forth like crazy. Um... Okay, so I guess there might be even a, a call for a program that takes input as degrees and returns um, output as radians. Um, so blow my frickin' head up. Okay, so this gives us results in degrees. This converts them back to radians. Um, and we do apparently console log that. Okay. Um... Yeah, whatever the hell that is, it's not right. Okay. Oh, right, because we're doing more multiplies and divides here than we should be. Okay. So the results are in degrees. So if we multiply them by BC lib degree, we should get back to radians. Okay. Not, we went the wrong way there. Okay, so now when we do this, these are still in, in degrees, which is fine. This is uh, Latin longer coming in as uh, radians, because we, uh, no, we didn't. No, we did not. Um. Yeah, we need to reassign this to res array, because that's what we're looping through. So so this is you can't do mutable uh maps in in JavaScript. You can't change what's in the the array, but once you return what you want, you could reassign it to the array, I think. Um so we're not going to use the second variable here. We are going to continue to use uh res. Is everybody having fun? Okay, that wasn't cool. Okay, here we go. That's actually starting to look like it might be part of the answer. Uh, except it's not. But anyway. Um, this is looking much better. Except it's going past and before. And the thing I'm worried about is that I, I've messed up n somehow. Um, because none of these points are touching the two points we want. Um, okay, but I think we're in much better shape here. So I will go ahead and download. I will go ahead and push to get, uh, you know, I might stop doing this. This just seems like a waste of time now. What did I change? I changed the world, man. All right, there you go. Yeah, so I actually I'm thinking that's probably a piece of shit now. Okay, so. That object was this, object unit, waypoints object. Uh, res, we basically convert it back into degree, uh, into radians, and then over here, we cry like little girls. Um, uh, 
Okay. Um. So it looks like we didn't. We don't change in. Um. I think I don't need this one anymore, but I'm beginning to worry that I do. So let's see. Um, so we got the angle. This worries me, but it shouldn't. Um, and all this crap is good. Um, so I guess the only possible issue is that something happened to end. I'm going to use my more favorite method of doing this, with the, which is this. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on. And the other thing that makes me think something happened to n is we got more results. Now n is equal to 5. Um, not groovy. Angle should start out at 0. Let's see what... Um, am I using I for two different things here? Well, let's let's figure this mother out. So here we're gonna well, we're gonna be actually having to inside the loop to get I. So let's do that. And I don't think it changed any other functions from when it was working. So much bad things are happening. Um. It should not... I mean, I, I should, you know, I said I did add a feature here, but I didn't think it would be this, and, you know, it did cause some issues. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Oh. So, I0, there we are. Oh, 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 oh. And some more O's. Um, yes. This does not actually print the, the latitude and longitude of the waypoint. It prints the latitude and the longitude of um, of the station that is closest to the waypoint. So um, that is actually sort of bad. We do want to also print the latitude and longitude given, and you know, so we make sure that our points are. We want to show the waypoints in addition to things that are closest to them. So that that is what's going on here. Um, the other thing that's going on here is why the frick is my city not being mentioned? There it is. Moriarty M Municipal Airport. Um, if we did this, we should be in Albuquerque International Airport in here somewhere, but let's see what this does. There it is! The Albuquerque International Sunport. Just 0.22 miles from where I've got this, and if I do this, I bet you I'll get even closer. Not that much closer. But anyway. So this is what's going on here. So okay, so we're in good shape. We th these are the latitudes and the longitudes of the uh, the waypoints. Apparently, it's going to take some like really really tiny um, tiny station names here, um, like you know Wind Window Rock. I know where that is actually. Tonopa. So these are some very small FAA facilities, but they are the ones. Excuse me that are closest to the waypoint. So we do want to put the waypoints as well. Let's see. Is there anything else we want to do here? Well, let's do some more testing. Um, let's go from the departure longitude of the west coast, minus 12039, to somewhere in Maine. I, don't, I actually don't think that's Maine. but And we want 10 waypoints. Okay. Well, I mean, Northern Maine, Elko is in Nevada, I happen to know. Um, can we go further west than this? Or I, I'm trying to hit San Francisco. Shelter Cove, Jack McNamara Field. Well, this is really hard to tell where these things are. Alrighty. Let's go around the world. Around the world, the trip does not begin. So we'll start at minus 180 zero and go to 180 zero 
This is not very close to the United States, so I'm expecting even the minimum distances are going to be quite far. Uh, that nothing happened. Did I? Oh! This should not take much longer than for any other latitude and longitude. Oh, crap. I know what's wrong. Um, these are actually the same point. Um, there. Reloading. So, longitude, destination, that, that's halfway around there. Minus 180 and 180 are the same point. Okay, and whoa, nice! Can we fly close to American airports the whole time? Apparently, yes! Um, in fact, kind of... Okay, that's kind of weird. The di distance to uh, Key West International from this equatorial flight is not 50 miles. These might be in degrees then, or something. Um, uh, this is this is not good. So the distance is apparently not in miles. It is in degrees, and that might have been what they actually said in the uh, turf uh, dist function. Okay, boys and girls, I've been streaming for one hour and 21 minutes, and whenever I say something like that, it means I'm going to stop the stream. Thank you for watching. I hope to be back later today, and we will continue with this. Thank you, and goodbye.